this is Mike from Minimal 3D Pace. And today I'm trying to determine the acceleration and max speed of my 3D printers running Clipper. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll be honest, if you're anything like me, I find a profile online that sort of works for my printer, and I go ahead and set it up. Unfortunately, what I don't do often enough is take a look and figure out what's the best accelerations and the best speeds to print. I just do a lot of trial and error. Well, I was taking a look at Eliza's print tuning guide, and I saw this section. I thought it was interesting. Determine the max speed and accelerations for your printer particularly one and this is set up for Clipper only. And so what I thought I'd do today is walk you through the steps of running these tests and see if we can come up with some results and then apply them to our printer. The printer I'm going to use is my Creality Ender 3 S1 Plus. And for that printer, I, I'm not exactly sure what speed I am have it at now, so I'll have to take a look. And I am also have this printer connected to a Creality Sonic pad. So these steps should work for any printer that's running Clipper. We're just going to go through it like this using this printer. So let me go ahead and get us started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I want to go over to my machine and my configurations and I want to open up my printer.config. We're going to take a look at this and I want to scroll down. This will take a minute. We're looking for the printer section here. So I keep scrolling. I wonder, ah, oh, there it is. So it's right here. Now my current max acceleration is 4,000. That's been printing reliably. And max velocity is 300. So first thing I'm gonna do is let me cut this section. And I want to move this all the way to the top of the printer. So that way it's a little bit easier for me to see it. So let me just put it in here. So that way, if I'm going back and forth, I don't have to scroll down. And then I'm just going to save this. I won't restart right now because this is fine. And so let's switch back over to the printer test. Now, the first thing we're going to see as we scroll down is there's two macros. There's a macro for a standard printer like I'm using or for a Delta printer. I'm going to open up this macro so it opens it up in GitHub. What I'm going to do is, let me think about this for a minute. Let's copy this. So I'm going to go, click Raw, select all, and then copy. And let's go back over our printer.config. I want to close this. What I'm going to do is click the plus sign and add a file. And I'm going to call this test underscore speed, all in caps. Let me just make sure based on the directions that I have the yeah, test underscore speed. So what's underscore speed? And we're going to call it dot CFG. Hit save. We're just going to open that back up and we're going to paste the code we copied into that file. I'm going to hit save and close. Now, I simply need to go back over to my printer.config to add that in. And I'm basically going to use this code right here, this include statement. So I want to copy that. I'm going to put it underneath my printer section. And I'm going to change the name here to test underscore speed. And this time I am going to hit save and restart. And this will take a minute. Let's go back over to the dashboard. The printer is reconnected. So I have that all entered in properly. And like I said, what that's doing for us is adding that macro in. Now, there's other things I could do where I could have set this up and downloaded the whole GitHub repository and put it on my printer. But right now, I don't want to go through all that. So 
we're going to take a look at, we want a small number of iterations. And right now, so I'm going to copy this code. And this should just work on the box. So we're going to go over here and paste in. Now, my acceleration was currently set to 4,000. So I'm just going to leave it at 4,000 and I'm going to hit send. And we'll give that a minute and then come right back. You can see it's running a test. Now, one of the things I need to do as this is running is listen to the sound the printer's making. It actually sounds pretty decent. Now, I completed the first test and everything seemed appropriate. Now, what I'm listening for is and looking for is the tool head or the printer making weird noises, maybe shuddering. And then I'm also looking for minor skips, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Now, what I'm going to do is let's go up to 4,500. And so that's faster than I currently have it set to. I'm going to do two iterations. And let's send that macro. Switch back over to our tripod cam. Let's just watch what it does. Now, first, it's homing. And then it's going to start our movements. And this will take a second to start. And so here's our test starting. Right now, the printer sounds good. I don't see the print head shaking. And so we're just going to watch that. And I'll let that finish and we'll come back in a second. Now, if we remember, the printer homed initially. And so it's homed initially. And now at the end, it's running another home. We actually want that because that's going to help us tell if we had any minor skipping. So let's take a look at the output. So taking a look at the display, and let me make this bigger. We're going to notice that here is our two iterations right here. And the G code has us right at 304, 304. The kinematic has a 304, 304. And the stepper has us at 304, 304. Now, if we had some skipping, the next time it was run, this might be slightly different. Again, we're seeing 304 and 304, and we're seeing 304 and 304. So I'm not seeing any skipping. So let's go ahead up to 5,000. So we're going to take our code and let's run the speed test at 5,000. Now, what I'm going to do is keep running this till I hit a limit where it's either some skipping or some noise. Then I'll come back and I'll actually show you on camera. OK, so I finally hit a point where the printer made an awful noise. What I'm going to try to do is run the test again. And what I ran it as is an acceleration of 8,000. So let me go ahead and start running this again. And then I'll let you listen to it, see if you can hear what it's doing. Now we can also see in the homing output the issue as well. Well, Try to listen, see if we can hear those sounds. I ran been running this uh, increments of 500, so it's 7,500. Have any sound or arrows? I just not back at all. I could just increment it up by one injury. Let's see what this happens. Problems here to be on wide. And you can hear it. You can hear it. Skip the shots. Is that sick? Take a look. We're going to tell you what to do, but 
and we'll see what that looks like. Now, if we go back over to my display, we're looking down here at the output. And you can see where I ran the test. And so when it first homed, here's the X value, and those two are the same, but take a look at the Y value on the stepper here. You can see that these values are different. Now I have my config set up where my micro steps is 16. If this number is more than 16, that's typically losing one step. Just losing a, a value of one doesn't matter. But again, taking a look at this, that's almost a 2000 difference. And again, that's from those that skipping. So what we're going to do is back the acceleration down. Let's go back. So we're going to back the acceleration down and we'll put it at 7500 and run it again and just verify that we don't have any skip steps. So let me put it at 7500. I'll send it and we'll come right back. But going back over to our output, I'm noticing that I am having some extra skipping here. So about 300 difference between these two. So I don't like that. So what I'm going to do next is home the printer, and then I'm going to back the acceleration down to 7,000. So with my acceleration at 7,000, you'll notice the Y steps here are just about perfect, same with the X. I'm going to have my acceleration set at 7,000 initially. Now if we go back over to Elias's website and scroll down, he suggests after you find a rough maximum, we do the test again with a larger number of iterations. So what I'm going to do is copy his code, go back over to my terminal. I'm going to paste this in. I used 7,000. So I'm going to put 7,000 in the iterations at 50. I'm going to hit send and then let that run. And we'll come back here momentarily. So as you can see, I've completed 50 iterations. And if we look at the stepper X and then at stepper Y, we're not seeing any differences here. So what this tells me is I'm not seeing any minor steps, and I certainly didn't hear any major step skipping while running this at 7,000. So I feel pretty good with my new acceleration of 7,000. Now let's continue our tests and we'll take a look at the configuration website and see how we can find the max speed. Now looking at Elias's explanation, he's mentioning we probably want to go slightly lower than the acceleration we found. So what I'm going to do is just go 6800 and I'm going to go in to my printer.config. Let's go there go to our printer section. Right now, the max acceleration is at 4,000, and I'm going to set it at 6,800. I'm going to hit Save and Restart. And then while that's restarting, let's look at our next steps. So again, according to the test website, we're going to go to the calculator, and this calculator is found over on Prusa Research's website down here at the bottom. I'm going to change the acceleration to 6800 and I'm going to change the distance or access length to 310. And that's what it is on my printer. Now, looking at the directions, my printer is 310 by 310. And I want to go in here and subtract out 40 from this. And that's basically to give it. 20 millimeter buffer on the X and Y axis. So we're just going to put this at 270. Now, if we look carefully at this graph, the desired speed is just an arbitrary number. So we can put in anything here. It doesn't particularly matter. I'm going to bump this up just to 500, just so we can see it's going across this 500 line. Here's this blue line right here. Max theoretical speed of this printer over this 270 millimeters is, in theory, the top of this yellow line, which is 1300. We're never going to get to that. 
Now, what I'm going to do is start off with a max speed of 500, or better yet, if we go back over to my printer.config, my max velocity right now is set to 300. So let's start at that 300, and then we'll just start bumping it up. Test. So if we go back out to our dashboard, here is our new command. So test speed equals, and I'm going to change this to 300. And I'm going to do two iterations. And basically, I'm doing the same thing I did with the acceleration test. I'm seeing what happens with the printer. Do I hear any noises? Do I have any skip steps? So let's run this, and we'll be right back. I didn't hear any noises with that. And if I look here, my X and Y steppers, these numbers are both relatively close. So that max velocity is fine. Let's bump this up to 400 and we'll proceed from there. So what I'm going to do is off camera, keep bumping up these max speeds or the max velocity up by 100 or maybe 50, see how high I can get and then come back and show you where I'm at. Now, I was able to run this up to about 600. And if you notice and take a look here, here is my starting stepper values. So I'm at Y at 319. And if you go up here and take a look at it, it's at 2038 on the second iteration after it runs the test. So what this is telling me is the speed of 600 is way too much. So I'm just going to copy this code again. And I'm going to change this back to 550, run it again. Or better yet, yeah, 500. 550 was OK. I'm just going to run it at 500, make sure there's no changes. And then what I'll do is continue with the tests. Now I've run it at 500, and this is below what I think the max speed could be at 550. And if we're looking at these X and Y values, they're the same. So now I'm just going to do a torture test. So I'm going to change this to 500, and I'm going to apologize for the noise. One of my dogs has to lay right underneath me as I'm working and has to do some mad itching. So we're just doing and iterations of 50, so that will torture the printer, and we'll see what those X and Y values look like and see if we need to adjust the speed down further. So let's run this, and we'll be right back. Now, I'm not quite sure if this error occurred because of my speed test or something else, but I've actually had an issue with the printer, and it rebooted. So what I'm going to do is run the test again and just see what happens. Now, it could be the speed is too high. It appeared to finish the test and then reboot. I've checked the steppers, nothing's overheating. So we're gonna just gonna try this again and see if this was an isolated issue or is this something, some deeper problem? And then I'll just keep backing the speed down. Now I've rerun the test. I also discovered what the issue was. It turns out that the plug was not totally in my printer and all the acceleration and vibrations of the printer had actually jarred the plug, which I didn't have in all the way, made it loose, so the printer actually lost power. Now, if we look, I ran the 50 iterations at the speed of 500, and you'll notice that the X and Ys are both literally the same. So I feel really comfortable with this using the 500 as my max velocity. So if I go back over to the test, I can see that I should now be able to set that max velocity to that 500. So let's go back over to the printer. I'm going to go down to my configuration, so my printer.config. And right here at my max velocity, I'm going to change this to 500. And this is below what I think the max velocity could be, so that way I have a buffer. I'm going to hit Save and Restart. And so the, this is the method for updating the max speed and velocity and acceleration of your printer. I'm going to leave a link to 
And why I say print tuning guide, I think there's some awesome tools here. And take a look at what he's put together. It's really awesome. And don't forget if you get a chance to support his work. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks. Have a good day. Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one-hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.